Hello everyone. Now in this video, we are going to discuss this question from gate D25 exam. And this question was asked for simple question for one mark here. Okay. So let's try to understand the question first. Let A equals to, we have identity matrix of N cross N plus X into X transpose, right? And X belongs to a real number of order N you can see here. And it is given that X transpose X is equals to 1. So, which of the following options is are correct? So, it is basically MSQ question. Multiple answers are there. Okay. Now, we have four options. Now, in this question, what you need to do? First, read the option, right? So, here we need to find out the rank, right? This Whether A is invertible or not. Icon values, right? So, here we are dealing with rank, invertible and icon values. And if you observe this, all of the things lives with the same thing here. That is basically eigenvalue we can say. Okay. So let me cover two uh, important points first. Let's say for example, when we say rank of any particular matrix is order n here. If it is n cross n matrix, then we are saying that the rank of A is n. It means what? The determinant of that particular matrix is not equal to 0. If determinant of matrix is equal to 0, it means what? the rank of that particular matrix will be a less than n this is what we can say and if determinant of matrix is not equal to zero it means what the rank of that particular matrix is equal to n here okay so remember this important point here also a is invertible invertible means what a inverse exists a inverse exists only when the determinant of a is not equal to zero right so if we can prove this one it means both options can be correct so, all this with the determinant here and then we have icon values also. So, what we can say about this? What we have about the icon values, okay? So, we are just revising the concept here. So, there are two important points regarding the icon value that we have discussed. First one is that product of all icon values, product of all icon values is equals to what? Determinant of matrix. Very, very important, right? So, if determinant of matrix A is equal to 0, it means what? It means at least one eigenvalue is 0. Can we say like that? Yes. If determinant of matrix A is equal to 0, it means what? It's at least one eigenvalue is 0. It means what? The rank of matrix A is less than n. Yes. Second point is that the trace of matrix, trace of matrix is equal to sum of eigenvalues here right so trace of a matrix basically a summation of a diagonal element is equal to a summation of eigenvalues so whenever you see this type of question always remember this important point about the eigenvalues very very important and about the determinant and rank and invertible here okay so based on this only only we can uh, solve this particular question here so, I hope we have revised the concept. Now, let's try to uh, solve the question. So, so, this is how you can approach any particular question. If you see the question, just write down what you know about that particular question. Right? So, how to find out the rank or what are the properties we uh, know about the rank of the matrix or eigenvalues. So, just write down that and then try to apply that particular on the question here. Okay? Now, let's come back to a question. Here, we have a matrix A. You can see. Right? Where i n is basically n cross n matrix. So if i n is basically n cross n matrix, and we are doing a addition of matrices here, right? So it means what? What? What is the dimension of this x into x transport? That is basically n cross n, right? Then only we can add. We cannot add the matrix of two by two with a three by three or three by two, right? So we cannot do like this. Right, so it should have a same dimension we can say for the matrices to be uh, add. Right, so we can say that the dimension of x into x transpose is basically n cross n, and here you can see x transpose into x is basically equals to a 1. That is a unit of vector here. So, what we can say about this, okay? So, here can we say that x is basically a uh, what? That is basically uh, having a dimension n cross 1. X transpose will be having a dimension 1 into n, 1 by n like that. So, if we do x transpose, 
So if we do x into x transpose, that will be uh, what? n cross n. And if we do x transpose into x, so that will be a 1 by n matrix here, like that. Okay, so we can conclude that x will be a n cross n matrix here. Okay. So this is how we can get some information from the given statement here. Okay. Now, so we know that in this question we are going to deal with the eigenvalues here. So how to do that? Let's say for example I have this matrix A. Let me write it down. Uh, n plus x into x transpose. Now we know that if I have this vector A into this vector equals to lambda vector. If it satisfies the equation, it means what? Lambda is the eigenvalue of the matrix A, and this new is basically a eigenvector corresponding to this uh, eigenvalue this is what we can say right now let's say for example we have a vector x here so let's check for vector x here so a into x so we are multiplying x on both the sides so what we are going to get identity matrix into x plus x into x transpose into x right now what is identity matrix into x that is basically a x only plus x into x transpose is what? What we can write about uh, this particular uh, thing? That is uh, nothing but we can write this as like this x into x transpose of x by property. So this is given as 1. So that will be a x only. So here I can say a into x is equal to twice x. So what we can say about uh, this particular thing? For a vector x here, the eigenvalue will be a 2. Right? Can we say like that? So, we can say from this particular thing for a vector x, so x is an eigen vector with eigen value 2, with eigen value or 2 here. Can we say like that? Yes. Okay. Now, now what's the next step here? Let me take a, a fresh page. Right. Now, let new be any eigen vector here. Let's say nu be a orthogonal vector. Vector orthogonal to x. It means what? X transpose into nu will be equal to 0. So for any vector nu belong to R n, right? So x transpose into nu equals to 0. It means what? This new vector is orthogonal to this vector x here. This is what we can say. Now let's multiply this new vector with a. So what we are going to get a into new plus, sorry, equals to i and x into x transpose here into new, right? So just multiply. So identity matrix into vector will be that vector. That's it. Now x into x transpose into new. This is what we can say. But by property, we can write this as like this x into x transpose into nu but we know that this nu is basically orthogonal to x that is basically equals to 0 so this will be equals to 0 so entire expression will be equals to uh, 0 here right so that is basically equals to nu only so lambda nu is equals to nu this is what we can say right now what we can conclude from this particular thing so what we can say about uh, this now from this so every vector orthogonal to the x having an eigen values 1 here because here is nothing. So if I just write lambda here, so we can say lambda equals to 1, right? So what we can conclude here? So what we can conclude from this? The multiplicity, the multiplicity of eigen value, eigen value. 1 is what? n minus 1 here. And that remaining uh, one eigenvalue will be what? 2 here. This is what uh, we have got here. Right? So, what we can conclude about the eigenvalues of this matrix A here. Right? So, first we know that eigenvalues of A. So, eigenvalue of A will be what? 2 with the multiplicity of 1 only. Right? Multiplicity of 1 right and then we have 1 with the multiplicity of n minus 1 that's it n minus 1 so if you observe here 
eigen value is not equals to zero. So eigen value is not equals to zero. It means what? Product of all eigen value will be some a finite number. It means what? Determinant of a is not equals to zero. It means what? The rank of matrix is basically equals to n. Yes. So option a is correct here. It means what? If determinant is not equals to zero, it means what? A inverse exists. So option B is also correct here. Right? Now see, zero is an eigenvalue of A. No. A inverse has a negative eigenvalues. No. So if lambda is an eigenvalue, if lambda is eigenvalue of A, then 1 by lambda is eigenvalue of A inverse. Remember this. So it's a negative eigenvalue. No. So we can directly eliminate this option as well. Okay. So I hope you understand the video solution of this particular question. Simple question for one mark here. And even if you didn't understand anything, still you can guess the answer here. Okay. Because you know that it is an MSQ question. And if rank of A is N, if this is true, then A has to be invertible. Right. Because based on this, right. It means what? Option C and D will be uh, not correct here. Right. But if option C is correct, it means what option A and B will not be correct, right? And anyway, option D will not be a correct here because it's a statement itself is a wrong here, right? So A inverse has the eigen value of what? 1 and 1 by 2. It's all positive. So anyway, statement D is itself correct. And if A and if statement C is correct, it means what option A and B are not correct. So you can guess the answer also here. Okay, remember this uh, point here. So that's it from my side. I hope you understand the video solution for this particular question. Thank you.